Hello, my name is Matt Gamble and I'm one of the creators of VR Cameraman, a Unity editor extension that allows you to create, edit and animate game cameras in real time with VR. Keaton and I created this tool because we wanted a way to create cutscenes and trailer footage for games without having to fiddle around in the editor trying to get angles. We wanted to create a solution that used VR to let you look around and place multiple cameras quickly and seamlessly. In this video, we're going to give you a quick demonstration of how this tool works and an example of what you can expect to achieve from using it. Keaton is demoing for us in VR and I'll talk you through it. So let's jump into Unity and we'll show you how to get started with the VR Cameraman plugin. I've got an empty project here and I'm going to use this to show you how to get started from scratch. But if you want to load and import VR Cameraman into a pre-existing project, then you can do that too. Before we get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the free Steam VR plugin from the Asset Store. There's a link in our documentation to the store page, or you can just search Steam VR plugin. Once that's downloaded and imported into your project, you're ready to install VR Cameraman. So go ahead and import the package into your project. When you've got both Steam VR and VR Cameraman installed, you should have a Tools section in the top menu. This is where you can access the VR Cameraman tools. The first thing you'll want to do is open the Manager panel. We've created a couple of scripts that initialize the whole thing, making it as easy as possible to jump in. Run the Initialize Steam VR tool first, then run the VR Cameraman tool second. If you're already using Steam VR in your game, you can skip to adding our components. These rely on the default naming conventions of the Steam VR plugin, so if for whatever reason you've changed them, you may want to disable your current solution and use ours while working with our tool. Okay, so with everything imported, let's take a look at using VR Cameraman within a scene. Here, Keaton has lovingly crafted a demo scene for us in the world of City of the Shroud. Okay, first things first, just be sure to disable or remove the main camera from the scene to make sure everything works properly while using the tool. Then when you're ready, let's hit play and jump into the scene. Once you're in your scene and you're ready, bring up the controllers and hit the grips on the right controller to show the list of controls. You can toggle this on and off at any time. The first thing you'll probably want to do is move around. To do this, simply use the grips on the left controller, point to where you want to go, and click the trigger in to move. Once you've finally found a good spot, press the pad on the right controller to summon Janky Cam Crimson, our flagship prefab camera. Use the trigger on the right controller to grab and interact with the camera. The viewfinder shows us the shot we'll be getting. When you've found the shot you're happy with, hit down on the left controller pad. This will set the camera to record mode. You can hold and move the camera while recording. When you're finished with your shot, hit the down button on the left pad to stop recording. And these are the basics of VR Cameraman. Each recording is saved separately and you can record as many angles and shots as you like. If you're wanting a more complex or larger camera movement through your scene, we've built a waypoint system to easily dolly and crane your shots. Simply head to the first point, press the trigger on the left pad, and you'll create your first waypoint. Each waypoint has its own viewfinder and can be adjusted with the right controller to get the perfect angle. Repeat this process with as many waypoints as you'd like. When you're ready, you can toggle waypoint recording mode by pressing up on the left pad. Then press down to store the waypoint data. Just for fun, the camera will fly between the waypoints. You can move, create, and adjust as many waypoints as you like. To delete a waypoint, simply grab hold of it and press on the right pad. This is the gist of using our tool within VR. Hopefully you can see just how quickly you can capture and set cameras up. Once you're happy with all your shots, exit the editor and let's get them imported. Using the camera data import tool, we can see all of our saved recordings in the data to import section. Waypoint recordings are saved with a slightly different name so that they're easier to identify, and each recording name is saved with the time the recording started. We're going to import a waypoint recording. You can choose the smoothing curve that the data will import with. This will automatically set the curve on the camera animation. You can leave this to default if you wish to change it in the animation later. As this is a waypoint recording, you'll want to set the frame interval to a much higher number. Something between one and five usually works best as you'll get a good speed of movement. When you're ready, click create and the tool will import the data as a camera movement into your scene. As you can see here, we're importing a crane style shot that I created earlier. If you select the camera, you can view and edit any data in the animation panel. You can see a preview of the shot we created, and if we look, we can view the movement in the editor. If we take a look in the inspector, VR Cameraman also adds a playback script to the camera. This allows us to create and rely on a start time for the animation. On import, this is linked to the time you pressed record on the camera while in VR, but it can easily be changed. And that's more or less how VR Cameraman works. We can take a look at the movement in full detail by pressing play in the editor. Hopefully this shows you just how easy it is to get started with VR Cameraman and how quickly you can create a variety of different shots in your scene. Ideally, we created the tool to help make cutscenes and flyovers, but I'm sure there's a lot more you can do with it when you get your hands on it. We're excited to see what you come up with and hope you enjoy using VR Cameraman as much as we do. Here's a quick look at what we managed to create using the scene in the demo and just a short amount of time using the tool.
And if you want to get your hands on VR Cameraman, it's available in the Unity Asset Store right now. Thanks for watching.